who took a teaching post down in Waterville, which is where Mick O'Dwyer is from. So your relationship would have really grown because he was there, like you say, a bit like a personal trainer. He also put a car under your under your backside, didn't he? He did, in fairness to him, uh, without um, I was, um, <clears throat> get it. I, I'd walk up to from from the digs. I was staying in Cronin's down in Waterford, and I'd walk up to school every morning with my school bag to the real village schoolmaster, like you know. And uh, eventually, after a few weeks, Mikko said, "Look, there's a, a nice car there. Take it away." I said, geez, Mick, I can't afford that at all. And he said, look, pay me when you have it there. That's how much it is worth and um, pay me when you have it. So I got a lovely Fiat 128. That was the start of the players getting the cars. I was the first player to get a car. <laughs> I was in the Wires garage in Waterville. <laughs> and the Wires undertakers in Waterville. And the Wires hotels in Waterville. I was representing all that. Like, you know, I was his ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> 